Hello and happy autumn. This month on Access DNR, we kick off the Maryland Charity Campaign, create habitat for largemouth bass, celebrate National Public Lands Day, and more. I'm Anna Lucenti Hoffman, bringing you the latest and greatest from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. We're pleased to announce that the 2016 Maryland Charity Campaign is now officially underway. Its advent was marked by an outreach event at the Miller Senate Office Building, where dozens of charities interacted with hundreds of philanthropic state employees. Our friends at the Warrior Canine Connection even brought a special ambassador to spread the word. The event was highlighted by remarks from Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford and Secretary Mark Belton, one of the campaign's co-chairs. For more information, be sure to visit mcc.maryland.gov. Next up, fisheries service staff traveled to National Harbor and worked alongside partners from the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and several volunteers on a very unique project to improve Smoots Bay. Over the course of several days, participants labored to produce dozens of reef balls, molded concrete structures that are specially engineered to benefit marine life. The project, the first of its kind in the region, will utilize the newly made reef balls to enhance and diversify habitat for freshwater fish. Our sincere thanks to everyone who participated. We'd like to extend additional gratitude to the volunteers who joined us for National Public Lands Day, an annual event designed to inspire environmental stewardship our cameras were on hand to document the work of several volunteers who joined forces with park staff at the Scales and Tails Aviary in Tuckahoe State Park to clean, prep, and paint the walls within bird enclosures, also known as mews. Thanks very much to everyone who took part. And for our last recap, a Living Shorelines project at Conquest Preserve in Queen Anne's County has officially wrapped up. To mark the effort's completion, Chesapeake and Coastal Service staff, Secretary Mark Belton, State House officials, and other partners traveled to the site for a ribbon cutting ceremony and the unveiling of an information board that commemorates the project, which used state of the art approaches to reduce erosion, increase habitat, and protect a public beach. Looking forward, we want to remind you that there's still plenty of time to get outside and enjoy all the wonders of Maryland's 72 state parks. Fall is a wonderful time to bike, hike, camp, fish, and more. 2017 park passports have just been released and they're valid now through the end of next year. Grab one in person at your nearest park or online at shopdnr.com. And finally this month, forested landscapes across the state will soon be decorated with the rich golds and deep reds that fall is known for. Start the season off right and take a trip to Garrett County for their annual Autumn Glory Festival running October 12th through the 16th. If you can't make it, other opportunities abound. Each year, we partner with the Maryland Office of Tourism to provide up-to-date information for would-be autumn adventurers. Visit dnr.maryland.gov where you'll find a link to the Fall Foliage and Festival Report. Use this valuable resource to get all kinds of ideas on how to best enjoy the season. Well, that's it for this month. For the latest events, programs, or news, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, subscribe to our magazine and newsletter, and download our free mobile app. I'm Anna Lucenti Hoffman. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month.